Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams and this session we have an interesting question from the concept of progressions. Let us directly get into the question what we have here. So here our question is find the sum of the given series. Okay, so we need to find the uh, sum of the series which is given to us. Let's see the series. We have fractions, you can see it here, you, can, you, you have fractions here. So let's have a close look on what fractions we have here. We have 1 by 1 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 9 plus 1 by 9 into 13 plus and so on. And the last term we have here is 1 by 221 into 225. Okay, so though the question looks little strange at the beginning, so it is going to be quite easy okay we are going to have some easy approach to solve this problem and get the answer and here we have the options now let us get into the approach how we can solve this question okay yes fine ready yeah we'll start with this so first what i'm going to do is i'm just going to take the same thing whatever it is given in the question let's have a note okay and let us take the sum to be sum s okay so s is equal to let's just copy the terms what we have there so we have 1 by 1 into 5 plus 1 by 5 into 9 plus 1 by 9 into 13 and so on what about the last term last term we have 1 by 221 into 225 these are going to be the terms all right okay so now all these are fractions and next thing we will try to observe whether there is some relation between the terms okay fine yes so we have fractions and that too if you see all these numerators are going to be 1 and now we'll have a close look on the denominators what we have here. So if you see the denominator terms we have, the first term we have 1 into 5. And the second term denominator we have 5 into 9. Third term we have 9 into 13 and so on. It is going like this. So one thing we, clearly here we are able to observe, right? Okay. What we can observe here is first term we have 1 into 5. And the next one we have the same 5 repeating here. So 5 into 9 comes. And the next term we have the same 9 repeating here and 9 into 13 comes. So it goes like a chain. Okay, fine. So this one property we are able to observe here. And what about the second property that is also easy for us to observe here. It's going to be very easy. The point is just see how are the two numbers that we see in the product in the denominator terms. How are the two numbers? The first number is 1. The second number is 5. Right. So this is quite natural to see that the difference between the two numbers is 4 is it or not right yes because this is 1 and this is 5 the difference between this 1 and 5 is going to be 4 same way here we have 5 and 9 here again the difference is 4 9 and 13 here again the difference is 4 and this is maintained till the last term see here last term we have 221 into 225 and here also the difference between these two numbers is going to be the same 4 okay fine yes so as of now these are all the things we are able to observe right okay so let's just quickly re uh, revise so we have all these terms to be fractions that's point number one and next one is the point number two we have all the numerators of these fractions to be one that is also same and what about the denominator terms denominator we have products of two two numbers we have and how are those two numbers they differ by four okay that is how they are constructed okay yes and also they look like a chain here one into five the same five into nine the same nine nine into thirteen and what will be the next term next term will be nothing but thirteen into another value okay and that too it will be how how are these numbers they are differing by four okay the product those two numbers are differing by four so by this nature itself we can even tell what will be the very next term i mean up to the first three terms we have here we can easily guess what would be the fourth term what would be the fourth term now we can easily tell, tell it now so it will be nothing but one by this 13 into so what number we have to put there to get the difference of four so it will be 13 plus 4 which will be 17 is it or not so that means the fourth term is going to be 1 by 13 into 17 so that is how it is going like a chain okay fine so far it is okay now, by observing this nature, it will be helping us to solve the problem in an easy way. This is the objective. This is the objective. Okay. So that it may help us to get the answer in an easy way. That is the reason we are just making some kind of observation in the from the given question. Okay. All right. Yes. Okay. Now I'm just placing an equal to sign here. Next, what I'm going to do is 
Anyways, we observed the difference to be 4, right? So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to do a small trick here, okay? I'm just going to multiply and divide this entire series, okay? I mean all these terms by 4. I mean I'm going to multiply and divide by 4. This is what I'm going to do, okay? And for that reason, I am just doing 1 by 4th of now what happens inside is inside just have a close look okay what will happen inside is now each of these terms will be multiplied by 4 okay I will include that 4 in the numerator positions I can do that right so I will write it as 4 by 1 into 5 plus 4 by 5 into 9 plus 4 by 9 into 13 and so on up to this will be done till the last term so the last term will be 4 by 221 into 225 i hope it is clear to you right yes is it clear so i'm just multiplying and dividing by 4 each of these terms but that fraction i'm just taking it out as 1 by 4 i'm just taking it to be a common term and each of these terms i'm multiplying by 4 in the numerator positions you may ask why it is specially done by 4 the reason is very simple okay the reason is since here we have a difference of 4 okay the product those two numbers that we see in the denominators each of those product those two numbers are differing by 4 that is the reason we are doing this process by okay we are just multiplying and dividing by 4 okay this is going to be the simple idea and what is going to happen by doing this that doubt also you will have it that you will be able to understand in the very next step itself okay fine yes yeah now closely look what I'm going to do next so this is equal to again 1 by 4 now have a close look of what we have here here we have 4 by 1 into 5 this is going to be our first term is it or not so we have 4 by 1 into 5 now this 4 by 1 into 5 i am going to rewrite it in a different way okay yes i'm going to write this in a different way how am i going to write it okay that you may ask so what i'm doing going to do here is let me have a, a small rough space here okay let me take this space to be a rough space let me just show you this how this calculation is going to work i'm just going to do a rough work here and show you okay so that it will be helpful for us for you to understand how it is going to work for all the remaining terms okay yes now take the first term first term what we have here is we have 4 by 1 into 5 okay now this 4 by 1 into 5 is i'm going to rewrite it in a different way as just have a close look i'm going to write it as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 5 this i'm going to write okay you may wonder what i'm doing why i'm doing this okay so i'm just going to write as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 5 okay fine yes so why i'm doing this is you can even just verify it now okay so 1 by 1 minus 1 by 5 now when you try to simplify this what do you get here anyways in denominator you will be getting 1 into 5 so that 1 into 5 i'm placing it here and what about the numerator numerator will become a cross multiplication is it or not this 5 gets multiplied with this one so you will have 5 minus this one gets multiplied with this one so you will have one so you will have overall five minus one by one into five and now the next step if you try to simplify this five minus one will become four divided by this one into five i'm just leaving it to be as it is one into five itself now this step is nothing but exactly what we have here is it or not so this four by one into five is what we have it here so I think now you would have catch the reason why I multiplied and divided by 4. Since we have the difference to be 4, I am just taking that to be an advantage and I am just trying to locate that 4. I am just trying to place that 4 in the numerator position so that this calculation will be managed. This will be tackled. Okay. That reason is what I am just doing this kind of adjustment here in this calculation. Okay. All right. Yeah. Fine. So I hope uh, it is clear to you. So I am just going to rewrite this 4 by 1 into 5 as what? I'm just going to rewrite it as 1 by 1 minus 1 by 5. Okay, I can do that, right? Yes, I can do that. So, how? This is how it works. Okay, so 1 by 1 minus 1 by 5. Denominator becomes 1 into 5 and numerator becomes this 5 minus this 1. Okay, so it's simply 4. So, 4 by 1 into 5. So, this place, I mean, this term is what I'm just going to rewrite like this. Now, continue the same. Okay, so this next term, second term we have here as 4 by 5 into 9. So how can you rewrite this term? This can be rewritten as what? This again the same way you can rewrite this term as 1 by 5 minus 1 by 9. You can do that right? So if you have doubt you can even check it and see. Just check it and see what will happen. So when you try to simplify this okay you will have 5 into 9 in your denominator position and what about your numerator? Here numerator you will have 9 ones are 9. 
minus 5 ones are 5 so that means you will have 9 minus 5 so that will be again 4 is it or not so you will have end up with this 4 by 5 into 9 so okay so this simplification will again lead you to get this term only to be your answer okay so that is why i'm rewriting this like this okay yeah continue the chain so this will be plus so this third term we have 4 by 9 into 13 and how can that be rewritten this also we can do the same thing you will write as 1 by 9 minus 1 by 13 okay anyways when you try to simplify all these fractions you will always get your numerator term to be 4 only because each of these difference is going to be 4 only right so you will again and again get the numerator to be 4 only okay yes uh, yeah fine continue this and this will be continued plus what about the last term here we have 4 by 221 into 225 this also i can write it as 1 by 221 minus 1 by 225 i hope it is clear to you right okay yes yeah fine now it is going to be very easy 1 by 4 into now it's going to be very very easy what i can do next is i can really do a very simple calculation what i can do is that's you can just by observation itself you can easily uh, do that so here we have, I have 1 by 1 minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 you can just see minus 1 by 5 plus 1 by 5 i can just cut these two terms Similarly, I have minus 1 by 9 plus 1 by 9. I can just cut these two terms. So the same way here, I have minus 1 by 13. Anyways, that next term will have a plus 1 by 13. They both will be cancelled off. And the same way when you continue this chain. So last but one here, we have plus 1 by 221. The term that is just previous to this term will be definitely minus 1 by 221. So they both will be getting cancelled. So finally, you will be left with only this first term, which is 1 by 1 minus this last term that is minus 1 by 225 so minus 1 by 225 this is what you will be left with okay yes i hope it is clear to you right so it's going to be very easy right yes so you can easily observe it so all the other terms will be getting cancelled so you will be left with only this first term and last term okay so now you would have got the logic how it is going to work the sequence is working okay fine yes so now continue you have 1 by 4 into now what about this this is like 1 minus 1 by 225 so when you try to simplify this you will be getting 224 by 225 is it or not because when you take lcm you will have 225 minus 1 by 225 and that's in turn 224 by 225 right okay yeah now i can try to simplify this like uh, i can just cut this 4 with this uh, 224 so when i try to cut it it will be exactly like uh, 4 5 are 20 and balances 2 and 4 6 are 24 so finally you will be getting 56 by 225 and that is going to be the final answer for this question so the sum of these terms the given terms in this question the answer is going to be 56 by 225 is going to be the answer and our answer is available at option b right option b says the same answer 56 by 225 so this is going to be the answer for our question option b 56 by 225 is going to be the answer so yes i hope uh, the way of solving this problem is very clear to you let me come this side okay so the way the the, the approach we handled to solve this problem it's going to be a, a quite small arithmetic adjustment okay so once we do that adjustment everything else is going to be very very easy okay so you can easily follow the steps to get the answer so i hope it is very clear to you and even if you have some doubts again you try to revisit this video okay again you just try to uh, play it from the beginning hope you will be able to understand it so once you see that twice or thrice you will be definitely able to understand this question okay all right yes and as usual if you feel that this session to be useful please give a like and also if you feel this session to be useful for any of your friends please do share this video to your friends also again we'll catch up in next video with some other interesting question or concept see you soon there thank you so much